my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising and venus gemini i want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours hope you guys have an amazing time let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has for you guys spirits spirit guides ancestors and archangels please step forward allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for gemini sun moon rising and venus what can they expect for this month of december 2021 what new changes opportunities or obstacles do they need to overcome for this month december 2021 how are you doing gemini did you guys start your christmas shopping already do you guys even celebrate the holidays if you don't that is quite all right all right, one more shuffle. Here we go. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, first card, General Energy. We have the Conqueror of Swords. So this is um, this is a Knight of Swords. There's communication that's coming through for some of you guys. You may be experiencing information that comes in for you guys for this month of December. Uh, be careful not to be very quick to jump to conclusions. Um, the conqueror of swords is an indication of very fast, rapid movement, but a lot of the times we can sometimes get into our feelings without fully analyzing or taking in exactly what is unfolding. So for, you know, for some, um, there may be quick movement or reaction to something that may not be completely clear to you. So be cautious about that. Okay. Your next energy here is the chariot card. So quick fast movement like i mentioned the chariot is all about you know not only succeeding but having the power and the will uh to go towards those goals those aspirations or uh, make a quick decision um and not hesitating about executing whatever it is that you're trying to um, either portray come across or when we're talking about communication or express your emotions or your feelings Again, the chariot is very quick movement um, and it is guided towards basically having the power and the will to make things happen. Um, again, with the conqueror of swords next to that energy, very quick, fast, rapid movement. So again, be cautious not to overreact uh, over certain things or uh, not to become defensive very quickly as well, even uh, for some if you're feeling like you're being judged or you're being attacked in some way, um, take a step back and analyze before executing or before reacting. All right. So those are the energies, the general energies that you're going to be dealing with for this month. Let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the star card, Illumination. So I feel that for some of you, Geminis, you're going to be dealing with a lot of clarity that is unfolding for you guys. Things that perhaps in the past you felt like you didn't really know exactly what was going on or you didn't have much clarity in regards to a situation. That's quickly going to be unfolding for you for this month. The star also speaks about walking towards our purpose or walking towards um, the illumination, the understanding, the wisdom. Uh, but this can also represent highlighting um, at the present time um, the planet alignments may be assisting you in bringing more of a clear vision of that of your goals or what it is that you want. Maybe for some of you, you may change direction. At some point, maybe you felt like you wanted an, a certain outcome or something to happen and you were stuck in the mud about it, you know, feeling very sure of what it is that you wanted. And then all of a sudden, situations and circumstances start to unfold that lead us down a different path. So for some of you guys, it's changing, um, taking inventory of where you're at right now. And, you know, has there been changes in regards to the goals that you have now versus the goals that you had a year ago? Uh, for some of you guys, you may feel... Um, like you're going towards a different direction trust this process however you do have temperance here so temperance is with the star card very spiritual cards i feel that for a lot of you guys you guys are getting spiritual downloads um the conqueror of swords can also represent uh communication you know that is like i said spiritual downloads that 
Um, you're becoming more awakened, Gemini, or you're understanding more of the laws of the universe and how to manifest uh, with the chariot. You have this power now, this knowledge to fully be able to tap into that and to be able to see the full manifestations of your goals and aspirations here. Now, your next card here is the justice card. So a lot of balancing of energies, a lot of healing is happening. For those of you guys that have been dealing with a family member, a relative, or someone that has been going through difficulties health-wise, there is definitely a, reju a rejuvenation of this energy. It is empowered and it's speaking about healing. It's speaking about balancing that energy and no longer dealing with either health concerns or coming out of those health concerns much more stronger. Just this card can also represent you seeing uh, justice being served to those that have done you wrong or those that have led you down um, in a different path without much clarity, even confusion for some. So you're going to start to see all of this unfold in the month of December. Now you also have here the three of coins. So this is coming together, uh, coming together here with the sovereign of coins. Uh, so you may be dealing with an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I also see Sagittarius here, Aquarius energy here as well, Cancer energy here as well. With the three of coins, this is coming together, being able to be on the same page. This is with your family members or those that are around you having the same goals or aspirations. The sovereign of coins is definitely the queen of pentacles here, and it's speaking about going to, um, in the month of December, to someone that may be earthly bound, someone that is um, extremely grounded. It could be for sound advice. It could be um, spiritual guidance. It could be uh, seeking out this um, earth energy that is going to bring you more practica uh, practicality um, for those of you guys that are trying to start a business or that are currently uh, dealing with difficulties, if you own your own business, it could be you going to get some type of advice, um, someone that may help you or assist you in how to better maneuver uh, your business. So this is a beautiful, beautiful energy here, uh, Gemini. And finally, we have the High Sage. So manifestations at its true potential here. And I did uh, turn the deck around and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going into this dynamic of major transformation. For a lot of you guys, you're going to be experiencing in the month of December manifestations that you've been working very hard towards or wanting to manifest finally coming together. Um, beautiful energy here, Justice, is that of bringing balance, but it's also the 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 piercing through the material aspect so all of this right when we talk about manifestations when we talk about um even you know working spell work um for self-improvement for self-growth from business for money whatever it is um we're working all of these energies in the spiritual realm right and when we're vibrating to that energy um it does manifest quicker however there is a uh, singular connection between the earthly bound and the spiritual and you're piercing through that which indicates to me a full full-blown manifestation so for some of you guys you're going to be experiencing either a blessing in disguise or a full manifestation of something that you've been really working hard towards or trying to build or trying to make happen that is definitely unfolding for you for this month of December Gemini's I would highly encourage you guys again like I said um, just know and understand with the conqueror of swords here in the chariot, don't react to things very quickly. Um, and this could be almost like when we're at the point of manifesting something in our life, we're usually challenged before it actually manifests. So again, know and understand that you are the one that is in control of your life and your destiny, Gemini. Know and understand that the way we react to certain things is also the vibration so if you're trying to manifest something, make sure that you don't react to situations or circumstances in a negative way. Try the best you can to raise your vibration to that of what you're wanting to draw into your life. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guidance and insight. We'll see each other soon. Bye.